What's going on everyone? Today I'm showing you how to make salsa verde or Mexican green salsa. This is a really quick and easy seven minute recipe. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. My name is Chef Sanel. This is the Mexican Cooking Academy where I show you all the ins and outs of Mexican cuisine, Mexican cooking, and everything there is to know about Mexican cuisine. Now, I moved to Mexico in September of 2020 to pursue the culinary arts and learn everything there is to know about Mexican cuisine. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make salsa verde. And this recipe, just like all the other salsas in Mexico, is unique to each household. And this particular one comes to us by my neighbor down, down the hallway here, actually. She made it for me the other day. Uh, actually, I took some brownies over for her. She gave me salsa in exchange, which I felt was a very fair exchange. Her recipe was excellent. She taught me how to do it. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it right here on the video. Now for this recipe, we just need several ingredients. One, we want some chilies. So we want a couple of different varieties of chilies, jalapenos and serranos. Then we're gonna use some tomatillos, cilantro, a little bit of onion and uh, one clove of garlic. That's basically it. One interesting fact about chilies is that each chili has its own fresh name as well as a dry name. So for example, looking here at the chilies jalapenos, they're called jalapenos when they're fresh. However, when they are dry, like the, in the image here, the dry version of this chili is known as chipotle chili. So you've probably heard of chipotle and the chipotle chilies. Well, these two are exactly the same. Now, I don't know exactly what your heat tolerance is. Mine is pretty high. But even with my high heat tolerance, I still like to remove the seeds from my chilies because they're just too spicy with all the seeds in them. So I would take all those out. Begin by cutting off the stem on the chilies and then cutting it down lengthwise and then de-seeding the chilies. Do this for all the chilies that you have. Next, cut down a quarter of an onion. We only need a quarter of a white onion, yellow onion, whichever one you want for this recipe and we need one clove of garlic. Next, what you wanna do here is throw in a little bit of oil into a hot pan and we're gonna add in our chilies. We're gonna add the jalapenos, the serranos, we're gonna add the onion as well as garlic. Now we cook these chilies until they begin to caramelize and until they begin to blister a little bit. Once they're nicely caramelized, they're getting that brown color, we're gonna pull them off the pan and we're gonna add in our tomatillos. Now tomatillos are not exactly the same as green tomatoes, so if you can't find tomatillos that are fresh, you can find them in a can pretty easily, especially in the US. So look for those. If you can't find tomatillos, you can use the green tomatoes. We're using the whole thing. So we're gonna throw it into the pan here and we're gonna cook it until it starts to caramelize as well, just a little bit. Once these are all done, we're gonna take off all of these ingredients and we're gonna put them into a blender. You can use any blender you have. Here I have actually a food processor so throw in your cilantro first to weigh it down with all the chilies. Put the chilies on top of it. Put your onion on top of that as well. And then we're gonna give that a few spins to blend it all together. Once you blended all the ingredients together, add in half a cube of chicken stock and just add a little bit of water, about a quarter cup or less, just to thin out the salsa a little bit. We give that one more pulse and we're done with our salsa. You can go ahead and transfer it into a little jar so that you can enjoy it later. The salsa will keep for up to five to seven days in the refrigerator. So that's everything. You don't need additional salt. You just need this cube of flavoring. That's what gives it a really nice uh, salty seasoning to the salsa. The chilies are now perfectly blended. You can eat them with totopos. You can serve them on tacos or tamales or whatever you like. Now, word of caution when you're working with chilies, make sure you're really careful around them. Make sure you're using proper precautions, either wear gloves when you're working with chilies or make sure you wash your hands with a proper detergent. That's all I got for you. I hope you got some value out of the video. Hit the thumbs up if you did and if you liked it, hit the thumbs down if you didn't. I hope you didn't, but leave me a comment. Let me know why not. Oh, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's gonna let you know whenever I post new videos, which should be about once or twice a week. And as I said, I'm coming straight from the heart of Mexico here. 
So I'll be making a lot of Mexican cuisine and a lot of Mexican recipes. So if you're as big of a fan of Mexican food and culture as I am, then you've come to the right place. Until next time, live long and prosper.